So if you use a MacBook computer or an iMac, here is a good news for you. In the next version of Mac OS, Mac OS Sonoma, the dictation feature has improved drastically. The new version, Mac OS Sonoma, is going to be made available in just a few weeks, but Apple has already released the public beta of Mac OS Sonoma. I have been using it from last few days and this specific feature blew my mind. The feature is dictation and it has improved drastically from the previous generation. And now you are able to use dictation along with your keyboard. In the previous versions of Mac OS, whenever you had to use dictation, you could not use your keyboard and whenever you type something on your keyboard the dictation was disabled that is not the case anymore you can continue using your keyboard and continue using dictation simultaneously it opens up a lot of opportunities for people to boost their productivity and speed up their workflow let me give you a quick demo of the dictation feature on mac OS sonoma now i've got the screen recording turned on so you can see what's on my screen and let me show you that i am on the mac OS sonoma beta version and if you want to update your computer to beta version you can go to software update from general in settings then click on this i button and from here you will be able to select the beta versions so there are two versions available beta version and developer beta i wouldn't recommend you to use developer beta just use public beta or rather you can also wait for the official release which is just in a few weeks time so i have been using the beta version of mac OS sonoma and the dictation feature works quite well let me give you a brief demo i will open the notes app and i will turn on the dictation now that it is turned on i can write anything by speaking into the microphone and it does an amazing job at transcribing my audio in real time and you can see that i can also use my keyboard along with the dictation app which opens a lot of possibilities to use this dictation in different scenarios like this one if i have to write down something instead of writing on keyboard i can talk into the microphone and it does an amazing job for example for writing essays or articles first drafts it's amazing so this is one of the use cases where you can note down anything that you want without actually typing on your laptop this is also good for one particular thing that i like because i'm dyslexic and i have issues with spellings of complex words such as pneumonia or Czechoslovakia or maybe leukemia and there are many other words I have issues with so with the dictation feature it's easy for me to write anything without actually having to learn complex spellings and another use case of this feature that I found really useful is to reply to emails for example I've got this email here I haven't responded yet so I can simply reply and then turn on the dictation hey Thanks for your email. I didn't actually get time to look at your proposal. Give me two days time to review it and I will get back to you. Or maybe let's talk next Monday post lunch. Anytime that is suitable to you also. Let me know if it works for you. So like this, you can quickly reply to emails, reply to comments on your social media channels or anything. You can use it for messaging also. So it is super helpful and does the job really well. You can see how amazing it is for even my accent, Indian accent, which has always been tough to get, especially on Apple products. So they are definitely using some kind of machine learning, some kind of AI, quite similar to OpenAI's Whisper AI, which is speech to text application and it works wonderfully. In fact, I have done a video where I talked about a specific application that easily lets you transcribe any video or podcast or anything. It quickly gives you the text. But it is so amazing to see Apple doing this with their dictation feature by powering it with artificial intelligence. There are many other use cases also. I also use the dictation feature to write first drafts of my blog posts. Uh, it's amazing at that. And what's even more amazing is that the same dictation feature is also available on iPhone if you update to iOS 17. And it's amazing on the iPhone as well. If you have an iPhone or a MacBook computer, definitely use the dictation feature to speed up your workflow and write five times faster. So that's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. If you did, you can hit the like button and maybe subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.